Hello and welcome to another video tutorial of Trendy Templates. Today we are going to make this uh, gorgeous sparkling gown which is called Long Model Eye. I have already unpacked it in my inventory and here is where you find it. The Long Model Eye. It has an incredible amount of scripts. You can see it by these uh, uh, little pictures of the scripts. Uh, it has a skirt generator it has a the example skirt that I'm wearing and it has an instruction note card. Let's have a look at that instruction note card, please. It says, watch the video. Well, that's what you're doing. Um, now let's have a look at step one. Check what you need in your inventory. A skirt generator plus five panel maker scripts and five bonuses. Well, let's have a look. Here is the skirt generator that has the little star up front and then these are the scripts. It is script 1 and 1 for the bonus, 2, 2 for the bonus, 3 and 3 for the bonus, 4 and here is 4, the second one, and 5 and 5 for the bonus. So yes, everything is in. What will be the next step? We have to res a prim, drag the panel maker script to the content of that prim. We can add the texture or leave it as it is and pick it up. We have to repeat this four times, which means that we are going to res four prims. I'm going into build and I'm going to res four prims. One, two, no, five prims of course. I have to repeat it four times. Three, four, and one more. There we go. I want to see them a bit closer. There we are. And I'm going to into edit mode. I'm going to the content. So what we are going to do now, we are going to drag a script in each prim. Not one script in all the prims, and not all the scripts in one prim, but one script in one prim. We start with number one. And all of a sudden there is a skirt panel. Fabulous. We're going to pick up the next one, get it a bit closer, there we go, and we are going to put script number two. And you see it is a little bit different, it is a bit shorter than the other one. The same with number three. Perfect, another one a bit shorter. Number four is this one. And to end with number five. Now, is there a difference except for the size? Yes, there is. Have a look. If I go to the general tab, I see this one is called object four, and this one is called object two and this one is called object 1 and this one is called object 3. Please do not rename those panels because otherwise your script will get errors, your generator will get errors. Um, the generator will look for uh, specific prims with the specific names if it, and if it can't find those names it will give an error and it won't build your skirt. All you have to do now is just go out of edit mode and just pick them up. One, two, three, four, and number five. And you will find them in your recent items under objects. Here they are, all five. Let's have a look at the note card. What was the next step? We will have to res a generator. We have to hit the go button, give permissions, add the five objects we made in the post stand, close the screen and start making the skirt. Okay, let's go. We check the generator. We rest the generator. Now let's have a better look at the top. Okay, what we see here is a console with a couple of buttons. And if you hit the go button, a post tent will be rest, which is the actual generator. So if we click go, there we go, the post tent is being rest. Now what you might miss is here behind your inventory screen is this pop-up panel that asks you to give permissions to link and delink other objects. 
you have to press the yes button because if you don't you and you haven't given permissions you won't be able to use the link button in the latest stage okay there we go we right click the post end open it up in the edit mode there we go and we go to the content tab there are a couple of scripts in and a pose. Well, leave them there. They are there for a purpose. All you have to do now is, from recent objects, drag in the objects that you just have made into the content of the post stand. When they're all in, you can close the edit screen and hit create. If you are not completely sure that you have given permissions, if you are afraid you might have missed that um, screen popping up, please hit the reset button. There you are. You can give again permissions and now you're sure you can use the link button. You can stand, if you like, on the post end, but you don't have to. I will detach the skirt that I'm wearing because then it is more fun to have a look at. And I will cre create the Create button. And you see that there are panels being rest. They are not at all looking like the skirt that you were uh, thinking it was going to be. It is all more or less normal. All the panels have rest. And now we click the Link button. And you see, here comes Panel 1 linked, Panel 2 linked, Panel 3 linked. And it's going to be a lot of panels that have to be linked, and all you have to do is wait until it is finished. When it is all done, you will be kicked off the, the post stand, but you have seen that the panels have been um, moving around, and they look different now from what they were first. They have been moving in their correct place me go and uh, stand again on the post stand to show you pose here you see some panels have gotten shorter other panels have moved in place that happens after the linking and not before now this is nice because uh, you can see it but if I stand up you saw I'm not wearing it so now how to wear it we start by taking this in in the inventory we go into the inventory and here it is under objects is your new skirt that has your name in the properties. See, I am the creator of it. What I'm going to do now first is go back to my example skirt and I'm going to wear the example skirt. I right click, I go into edit mode and in edit mode I go to the object tab and here I'm going to copy the rotation and copy the position. Well, the rotation is not this interesting because it is all zero, zero, zero. But maybe for a ruffle, it has some uh, features here. So I make a habit of always copying the rotation and copying the position. Okay. I can detach this. I go to my new skirt and I say attach to pelvis. I right click it. And I paste the rotation and I paste the position. And that's as simple as can be. It is right in the correct position. Uh, this is a feature that comes with Firestorm. I don't know if any other viewer uses the same features. But if you don't have it in your viewer, you might consider using a Firestorm. It is a mesh viewer and it has a lot of handy tricks, tips and tricks for designers. This was uh, the video uh, for today. This was the long model eye. I hope uh, it is made more clear for you now and if you have any trouble building it then please send a, an offline IM or an IM to Stella Gravois and don't forget to mention uh, what generator we are talking about and try to describe your problem as um, good as possible. Thank you for watching this tutorial and happy building.